I gave $500 to one of the oldest subscribers on the channel to build this explosive Naruto mystery box. You heard it for the first time on the channel. We are doing a Naruto themed mystery box. Special thanks to BeastBoy007. You've been one of the earliest supporters on the channel and quickly became one of my greatest friends in this hobby. So I look forward to seeing what the heck you whipped up in this box today. As we're opening everything, be sure to let me know in the comment section what your favorite item pulled from the box was. I'll be selecting a random winner in one week's time and we'll give one of the items we pulled away to you. I will select a winner by pinning your comment in the comment section. And without delay, let's see what the heck is inside this box. First off, how cool is it that the front of the box is covered in explosive tags? He told me it took about 50 just to do this. Can you imagine how much it would take to do the whole box? Cracking this open, let's check out and see how it was packaged. All right, so I see a number one on this first box taken off. That's a good sign. Hopefully, all right, a bunch of them are numbered, so we know how to go through each of them individually. As we're taking these out of the box, I will mention I did request maybe some t-shirts to be thrown in here because I haven't got any good Naruto ones in a while. So looking to upgrade the outfit with hopefully one or two good shirts. All right, box number one, we're kicking it up with a rather larger size box here. It's kind of busting out of the seams. If you can see there at the top, it's like pressing through the top. Ah, and of course it's a plushie. That's why it's busting through the top there, themed after soccer. Is this a Hello Kitty plushie from seeing? Yeah, that's what it is. I know what I'm snuggling with. I mean, I, I know what I'm going to be giving my daughter after the video's over. She's definitely at that age where she would enjoy something from Hello Kitty, so we'll go ahead and set that aside for her. Mystery item number two, if you didn't see before, we have 12 items to go through with this entire video, ending on something super crazy awesome, or so I've been told. Just in case you're wondering, Bam does wear a size large as seen on the tag here. I gotta say, from the initial looks of it, I've never seen a shirt like this, and holy crap, it is an Itachi Susano! Man, talk about a shirt I've never ever seen before, this is awesome! What a nice way to kick off the outfit upgrading with this one right here. Love how Itachi is just a silhouette as well. Real quick, I had a video idea one time where I'd have anyone who wanted to participate send me a shirt in my P.O. box and I would select the best shirt out of the lot and give that person a statue in return. Let me know what you would think about doing possibly a video like that in the future. And for number three, looks like we have an awesome looking fridge magnet here. Wait a sec, there's actually, okay, there's two, cool. That's actually perfect. My fridge upstairs is running low on fridge magnets or at least cool fridge magnets. And with the way number four is packaged, I'm getting a little skeptical here, right? Kind of flimsy, wobbly, definitely a t-shirt. Looks like an interesting black and white looking design going, ooh, oh, and some, oh, and two colors. Hey, yo, this is lit, man. I, this is one of my favorite fights in the entire series, Sage Mode Naruto versus Pain. So really cool to see this in a shirt. Again, I've never seen a shirt like this ever before, awesome. All right, from the initial looks of this, this looks like one of those cases where like a, a kunai is gonna pop out or something. I think I've seen the, the plastic kunais. Oh, no, not at all. Okay, sweet, we have some fig pins. Seriously, low key, I love these. They're such a fun little collector's item. Uh, behind the scenes, you don't know, I do collect fig pins. I have to do a video sometime in the future showing them. Maybe I'll do like a video of different or odd things that I collect that are Naruto themed, and we can showcase all the different pins in my collection. And for number six, we have something floppy and flimsy again going on here. So the pattern has been kind of shirt every other so far. Yo, look at, oh, is this, oh my, this is like a manga panel or something. Seriously, I'm loving every single shirt that pops out so far. Sage of Six Pass Naruto right there in the center as well. So really cool. Maybe if he would have been color, that would have maybe taken it to a next level. But I do dig the black and white look to it. I'm not huge at reading the manga. It's been a long time. So let me know in the comment section below if that's taken from a specific panel or you know where. And you know what? I gotta go check and see how these actually feel when I put them on. So let me go ahead and grab this. These shirts have been so much fun. I really do have to think about, should I do that kind of video where we do like a mini competition almost where, you know, the person who does send in the best shirt does get sent a high end, you know, like four or $500 statue. I'm really thinking about that. Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts below on doing something like that or if you'd want to participate. So we have for number seven, a nice little mug. The art style reminds me of that one chibi show, the funny one they came out with. So definitely cool. I don't actually have a Naruto mug at all. So it'll be perfect from a hot chocolate in the winter. Not a coffee drinker over here. I seriously still feel like a kid at heart. I love opening up bigger boxes. Look at the, what is this? This is like a figure builder Naruto. What in the world? This is awesome. 
All right, so a model kit to build a figure of Naruto. You know what? I'm probably gonna use something like this to create a like a YouTube short where I build this in maybe 30 seconds or a minute. I would love to probably do that sometime in the future as well. This would be perfect to do with something like that. So maybe look forward to that sometime in the very near future. We are two thirds done the package and from what I understand, I was told things should rev up as we get further down the line. So we have another flimsy and floppy one coming up. Is that, is that what I think? The executioner's blade, no way. I have tried to find a Zabuza shirt, no way. I've been searching for a Zabuza shirt for so long. I've never ever been able to find one that I definitely like. This one is amazing. Love again the black and white look to it. For those that don't know, Zabuza is my favorite character in the series. I have a video here I'll pop up uh, that explains why if you ever want to check that out sometime in the future. Uh, but definitely something that's very near and dear to me. Box number 10. You another big box. You get excited about these. Not sure what's going to be inside. What in the world? This is definitely the most professional packaging we've seen on something so far. Must be some type of license. All right, it looks like a licensed product and... No way this is that official headband kit that they came out with. I swear, you know what? I saw this in GameStop one day and I regretted not buying it because they ended up selling out and I didn't find them anywhere else. But you have all these different headbands from the different villages. We had the village hidden in the sand and have also the mist village. Definitely the nicest headband protector kit I've ever seen before. Love the art style in the background too. And there's also this certificate of authenticity it comes with. So definitely a license, looks like limited product. And I have to share, I noticed when I took it off screen, this is actually magnetized on there. So you could take that one off, take another, and it magnetically puts itself on there. So really cool feature. You can swap them out very simply and easy. That was on my list to pick up someday if I ever saw it again. So pretty cool to have it just show up at the house. And for number 11, again, it looks like they have a t-shirt coming in. What? No, no way. Where in the world do you find a Baryon Mode Naruto shirt at? I seriously enjoyed those episodes so much where he went into this mode. I won't talk about it too much because there's some people that have seen it. I definitely think some people that haven't, but either way, an epic, amazing moment. Awesome to get captured on a t-shirt. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and change this bad boy as well. There are a few moments in the Boruto series, typically when some of the older Naruto characters kind of come back or have their awesome moments where I enjoy so much. And this is definitely one of those moments. It is that time for package number 12. This is the final package in the mystery box. What in the world is... Okay, so we can see off the tail end, it looks like some sort of kunai. That is a crazy nice leather case. So we can see from the shape of this, this looks like a realistic Minato kunai. This is a dream come true. This is actually something I've wanted to own for a long time is an actual real kunai from the series. This thing is insanely sharp and heavy. We have the main blade and there's two on the side. Then we have the kanji on the center where the handle is. I can't remember what those stand for, like Sword of Shinobi Love, something like that. But either way, this is on my bucket list to own as a Naruto collector. More realistic props from the series. So whoever created this, amazing. Can't imagine how much this costs. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to let me know in the comment section below if you want to see something like this again. And as always, do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.